how to size HD power cables using Excel spreadsheet I will discuss in detail about the criteria and uh, using one sample calculation also and uh, what are the deleting factors we are using what are the uh, source circuit level so let's start from the beginning okay we are going to calculate this 6.6 .6 kb xlp cable that voltage grade of the cable is 6.35 by 11 kb and this is the this will be used for 6.6 .6 kb system design ambient air temperature ambient air temperature is 50 degree centigrade and uh, rating factor we have considered here as 0 0.88 so how this 0 0.88 is coming we need to refer this annex 2 where this is the table you can get this table in IC60502 this is the rating factor at different temperatures so temperature correction factor this is called temperature correction factor which means if your cable is designed uh, at 40 degree centigrade and also the design ambient ambient temperature is 40 degree centigrade that means there is no deleting factors to be applied due to temperature correction but let's say this is designed at 40 degree centigrade and you are using in 50 degree that uh, that is uh, your system is designed for 50 degrees at 50 degree centigrade so you need to deviate that cable ampacity and you need to multiply with 0 0.88 so this is temperature correction factor let's go back to the main calculation so this is the temperature correction factor next point number three is the grouping factor this is the grouping factor or group rating factor so this means depending on the cable laying condition when, uh, whether we are um, installing that cable uh, on the racks on air or duct under uh, or directly buried or what is the number of racks what is the number of uh, cables per rack rack or cable trays so this depends on that only so depending on the cable laying layout we need to apply one multiplying factor here is that cables laid in air suppose this is uh, this will be the this cable will be laid in air with cables touching each other so in that case from this table you can see whenever your number of racks is 3 and per cable per rack this cable size is 6 number of cable is 6 that means you need to select this 0 0.7 multiplying factor go back to this point here rating factor for cable laying condition it is 0 0.7 that means your temperature correction factor 0 0.88 it is deleted again due to the cable laying uh, cable laying uh, orientation or that cable uh, that group rating factor is 0 0.7 so we need to multiply again with this uh, with 0 0.7 now another factor is coming kt kt is the factor converting from ac resistance at maximum operating temperature let's see what is kt factor for converting AC resistance KT equals to 1 plus A or alpha TC minus TO equals to 1 plus 90 minus 20 degree centigrade here actually this 90 is the XLP cable maximum cable temperature which is maximum uh, maximum conductor temperature 90 degree centigrade and T0 uh, is the 20 degrees standard conductor temperature which is 20 degrees centigrade and this value of a or alpha this time uh, this uh, constant 
uh, for aluminium it is 0 0.004 so if we replace these these values in this formula it is coming 1.28 this is for aluminium cable so if we go back to this main point here yeah so we need to multiply all these factors 0 0.88 multiplied by 0 0.7 multiplied by kt 1.28 so all these factors to be considered to be multiplied with the uh, uh, cable current capacity okay now this is the derating factors so we have derated the cable now the second point is the voltage drop criteria that uh, voltage drop criteria to check that voltage drop uh, let's see this is the this is the criteria that uh, for motor or for motor or equipment terminal at normal current condition at normal running condition that voltage drop is should be limited within this two percent within two percent and for for motor terminal at uh, at starting condition starting condition it it, it is five percent allowable voltage drop at motor terminal at normal starting condition this is five percent okay so next is coming rdc rdc is the maximum dc resistance of cable at 20 degree centigrade you can get this um, from the manufacturer's catalog and also as per the iec 60502 stand uh, code you can get this guided guidelines okay kc is the factor for converting dc resistance to ac resistance this is the value of kc so we can get the value of k which is the overall multiplying factor and last criteria is that short circuit criteria so short circuit criteria if we go to an extra two here short circuit criteria minimum cross sectional area of the cable this is given by this formula isc equals to k a by root t k is the constant k depends on that uh, material of the cable conductor whether it is copper or aluminium for copper it is 0.043 this is aluminium cable okay so here the cross section is coming as 154 square mm short circuit current it is considered as 32.34 kilo amps and time duration is 0 0.2 that means 200 millisecond so if we calculate we can get the cable cross section as 154 square mm so here size of cable size of cable we have considered 185 square mm because from the short circuit uh, formula is coming minimum conductor size to be considered as 154 square mm so we have considered here 185 square mm cables laid in air 335 ampere it is the normal rating at 40 degrees centigrade then these are the dedated values dedated values so now we will see one typical calculation for cable sizing calculation here let's assume that that motor rating motor rating is 750 kilowatt voltage is 6.6 .6 kb and uh, rated motor full load current is 80 amps if we calculate 750 kilowatt divided by root 3 into voltage into power factor into efficiency then we can get this motor full load current and here the cable length is considered 133 meter or 0 0.133 kilometer number of cable runs n equals to 1 selected cable size is 3 core 185 square mm and uh, for temperature correction factor it is considered 0 0.88 considering cable racks in air number of racks 3 and number of cables per rack is 6 show the rating factor for laying condition it is 0 0.7 and if we consider all these 
multiplying factors multiplying factors then we can get also the voltage drop here voltage drop which, which is 3.9 volt only which is coming 0.059 percentage which is within the allowable limit of 2 percentage hence it is acceptable and here it is 0.425 during starting normal starting condition 0.425 so this cable size is okay I have uh, made uh, another few videos regarding this cable sizing calculation you can check out those videos to understand in a better way so this is the brief one uh, what to do during cable sizing calculation so there are three criteria first of all the normal running condition that continuous current ampacity uh, with the dedicated dedicated ampacity of the cable then voltage drop criteria we need to cons we, we need to check that voltage drop during normal running condition and if it is a motor feeder then under starting condition also and number three criteria is that short circuit criteria where we need to check based on the short circuit capacity uh, of the cable we need to select the minimum cross-sectional area of the cable and accordingly next higher size we need to choose uh, during short circuit uh, criteria we can use we can use this formula i short circuit is that uh, is equals to ka by root t using this formula we can get the minimum minimum cross-sectional area and we need to select the next higher size of the cable so in this way we can select and uh, do that sizing calculation of the cable